Hello everyone, this is Paul with Jones in Four Tools, live from the JFT studio. Yeah, right. Anyway, just want to thank you for co coming back to the channel. It's been about two weeks since I did my last video. Uh, my main excuse is, is I've been finishing up uh, my college degree. Uh, I'm going to get a bachelor, or I received a bachelor's in organizational management. I've been doing it. I, I've been going to college since, uh, when did I start? Uh, like 2015. It's, no, no, no. It was 2005. It's been 17 years I've been trying to get that degree. Now, it was my fault. I changed my degree uh, um, four different times. Um, it, it, the first time I went to school, I think I was trying to be a electrician and then I changed it to some business management degree and and something else, I don't know. But anyway, I finally graduated and uh, now I'm gonna focus more on uh, on this channel. Jones in for Tools, if you've never been here, it's a channel for those afflicted with tool addiction. Uh, hi, my name is Paul and uh, I'm addicted to tools. But anyway, today we are going to review the Mayhew Dominator pry bar set and the Mayhew Dominator pick set. Um, I've been wanting these for a long time and if you've been watching my channel, I don't buy nothing unless I get a good deal on it. And they finally came on sale. Uh, over the past few years, I've been, I started out using the Pittsburgh pry bars. Uh, they were cheap. And they are cheap, you know. Now I'm not saying they don't work because they do, uh, but let me let me pause for a second and tell you about this shirt. This shirt finally came in. I ordered it. I'm kind of a big fella, and I ordered the three X. And I don't think it's a three X. It says three X, but it don't feel like a three X. It's skin tight, form fitting, but I wanted to get this uh, shirt, you know, to highlight my YouTube channel. Uh, Jones in for tools. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to wear it anymore. I may just hang it up as a sign. Uh, but anyway, back to the Dominator pry bars. Um, let me take a pause for my addiction, my other addiction. All right. So, uh, I got these on sale. Um, let's see, Zorro had them on sale. I looked on Amazon. Sometimes they're on sale on Amazon. Matter of fact, I just looked before I started this video. Amazon has them, I believe, for $99 right now. They go anywhere between uh, 139 to, uh, I think the lowest I ever seen them was like 81. But with the deal I got, I think I bought them for $85. Um, I've been wanting them for a long time. Uh, and the reason why, because they're affordable and they're a great product. Um, after getting rid of my Pittsburgh ones, I ended up uh, getting the uh, Walmart Hyper Tough. And the reason why I, I picked them up is because they're the same pry bar as the old Craftsman's. Not this new junk Craftsman has now, but the old Craftsman's with the red handles, with the striking cap. But uh, I could never get those because they no longer make them and, and nobody has them anymore. Um, but I finally got them. And I ended up buying the five piece uh, set. I could have got the three piece set for $57, but I thought that was too much. Um, now this set, this is the longest one and it is pretty long as you can see. Let me give you the, the sizes. I just measured it, but I forgot it. I think it's 32. Yep, the longest one is 31 and a half. Then it goes down to, looks like 25 and a half, 17 and a quarter, uh, looks like 12 inches and eight inches. Um, let me give you a close, close up. This is the smallest one, but I love this grip. I love the look, the striking cap is metal, but it, um, they have like a gun metal look to it. Uh, these are these are super nice. They'll get the job done. Uh, now, they also have longer ones, 
50 inch, 55 inch, 60 inch. But I really don't need something like that uh, for what I do. I usually work on uh, cars, trucks, SUVs. Now those diesel mechanics and those heavy equipment uh, mechanics, now they're the ones that are gonna use those big long ones. And, and you need something tough. And the Dominator is a tough pry bar. On top of that, I noticed uh, Mayhew is changing their colors and uh, I was able to pick up these uh, picks. How much did I pay for these? Um, I think they wanted like $22 for the picks, but I bought them for 12 bucks on eBay. $12.97, something like that, brand new. And here's a closer look at the picks. And I love them. They, they got the same handle as the Mayu Pry Bars. And, and they're a long pick, but not crazy long. Let me take, let me show you. Let's see, from end to end, looks like seven and a half inches. The handle is three and three quarters inches. And uh, he's pretty sharp. This comes in a set of four. Oh, I still have the, I still had the, or had the, um, what's it called, the little plastic on them so you don't poke yourself. Uh, let me take them off. There you go. All right. And the last but not least, let me take the condom off. There it is. Yeah. I know my camera ain't great. I bought or uh, I got the iPhone 13 uh, Pro. It does a pretty good job. But let me let me let me show you. This is one of my old ones. I don't even know what brand it is. It looks like um, a Stanley or something. But let's put these side by side. Let's see so you can see it. So the Mayhew is a little bit longer, but the handle is definitely longer. And I got big hands. This makes it so nice. I can control the movement of the pick better. Plus it's a comfort grip that won't slip when your hands are greasy or break fluid or something on them. Um, let me go, Here, here's another example. Now this, is, this one is an old Tecton one. And I like this, these have nice handles. They have knurling. But same thing, here's the size difference in length and the length of the handle. But I tell you what, these Tectons, this is a pretty nice handle. Alrighty, here's, here's an old Pittsburgh one. Same thing, about the same size, I mean, uh, as the other ones. And then of course, the cheapest of cheap. This is the 99 cent Harbor Freight. The last one I got, the other one's broke. But same thing with the size. I'm very impressed with the Dominator series uh, in their, with not just their picks, but especially their pry bars. Um, now, uh, let's see. I'm trying to grow this channel and I'm getting a lot of views. But what I need is people to subscribe to the channel, okay? Uh, it helps grow my channel. It allows me to um, buy more tools. Uh, I'm not sponsored. Uh, YouTube don't pay me. But I'm trying to get to that point, which I'm far from it. Uh, I do this because I, I love tools. And I know you guys do too. Um, I have a lot of stuff to review uh, and different things. I like to talk about tools. Uh, my son is addicted to tools too. And uh, one of these days we're gonna do a toolbox tour of his. Now, of course, he's just starting out. He has some good things, some okay. We all gotta start somewhere. But we're gonna do a tool, tool toolbox tour of his tools uh, here one of these days shortly. But um, if you like this content, 
uh, do me a favor, like, subscribe, and share my videos, okay? Uh, if you got any suggestions on tools you want reviewed, let me know. Uh, if you don't like this channel, put it in the comment that you suck. That's fine. Uh, just say something because all these things help. Uh, but uh, listen, I want to thank you for your time. And uh, I want to wish you the best in all that you do. Until next time.